Hey guys, it's Chris at Highline Guitars. Welcome back to another episode of Luthier Quick Tips. Well, I have been playing with my new X-Carve Pro CNC machine, and I thought it'd be kind of interesting to give you an idea of where this machine fits in terms of performance with both the uh, tried and true hand building techniques and my previous CNC machines. So uh, I'm at a point where I think I can do that. So in the beginning, when I first started building guitars, you know, 15, 20 years ago, uh, I, when I would make a neck, I would take a blank, I would draw out the shape of the neck on the blank, then I'd take it over to my bandsaw, cut it out on the bandsaw, and I would drill like the tuner holes with my drill press, and then I would proceed with carving the back contour shape using a spoke shave and rasp files, uh, my uh, favorite Japanese Iwasaka files, and I would use templates and gauges to make sure I was getting the shape where I wanted it to be. And that whole process from blank to a neck that was ready for 220 grit sanding just prior to applying finish took two full days, two eight hour days. And I thought that was pretty good. I mean, I was never in any really big hurry and, and two days seems to be all right. Well, as time passed, I would experiment with adding, uh, I, I, I got a, uh, a pin router and then I had a router table I had multiple different kind of jigs for making necks, including the famous uh, Bill Sheltima neck jig. Uh, some of you probably know what I'm talking about. If not, I'll, if I can find a link, I'll put it down in the description below. It's a, it's a really cool jig. Uh, in fact, I may have made a video about that myself many, many years ago. Anyway, adding those kind of tools definitely helped to reduce the time it took to make a neck, but I really went from like, two full days to down to like a day and a half. Not bad, but still, you know, nothing to, to write home about. Then I got my original X-Carve, and with that machine, I was able to cut the time it took to make a neck from basically two days to a day and a half down to eight hours, a single day. And I was pretty happy with that because I could carve the neck and then just do some light 220 grit sanding and then I could apply any finish or glue the fretboard on, that kind of thing. So then I ended up building, you know, designing and building my own CNC machine and that's the one that you can uh, purchase the assembly manual for over on uh, eguitarplans.com. Shameless uh, plug right there. Anyway, with that machine, because it was uh, a little bit more powerful and a stronger, uh, more rigid machine, I was able to cut the time down even more. And I went from uh, an eight hour uh, to build a neck or to carve a neck down to about four, four and a half, five hours to make a neck with, uh, with my new CNC machine. And that was old Yeller, which is down here under the table. <laughs> For at least for the time being. Eventually at some point I'm hoping to get another table set up where I can put that on there, but I need more space to do that. Anyway, so I went from two days down to a day and a half, down to a day, and with Old Yeller I was down to about four and a half hours. Then I got this machine, and I was really curious to see what was going to happen when I carved a neck with this machine. And that's what I just finished doing. Uh, with very conservative settings, I went from four and a half hours with my old Yeller machine to get a neck to this point to just a hair under two hours with this machine. So it's a dramatic, dramatic improvement in the time it takes to go from a solid blank to one of these. 
So I'm pretty pleased to say the least. And again, that's just using very conservative settings. I think with a quarter inch two flute spiral up cut bit, I had my depth of cut at 0.1 inches. I had my step over at 40% of the bit's diameter, which also happens to be 0.1 inches. And for my rough cut, my feed rate was 100 inches per minute. In fact, both the rough cut and the finish cut were 100 inches per minute. And um, yeah, that took two, a little over two or a little under two hours to carve this neck. And I think if I play around with my settings, I may be able to improve that further. But at this stage, I'm plenty happy with it. I don't really feel the need to push it any harder than it's already running. So uh, that kind of gives you an idea of what happens when you go from the old school traditional hand building down to uh, you know using your your routers and then uh, taking the the plunge into CNC and then upping your CNC game with even more powerful equipment. So uh, this is definitely the wave of the future, whether you like it or not. So uh, be sure you give this video a thumbs up. Uh, as always, if you want to show some support, head over to eGuitar Plans. Uh, purchase a plan for. Uh, the CNC machine, Old Yeller, uh, or any of the other tools that I use, or a guitar. And even if you don't build the plan that you purchase, just know that you're helping out with this channel and everything I'm doing here. So uh, until the next episode, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you soon. <laughs>